An estimated 23 million Americans are in need of addiction treatment, and more than 7 million of those are teenagers. Now, programs, we know this, do exist specifically for the younger generation, but only one, only one program in the entire nation is connected to a university. It's in the San Fernando Valley. This is Sober College. I started uh, smoking weed at 14, selling weed at 15, 15 and a half blackout drinking, uh, 16 I started doing meth. From the time Andy Dirkshire started using drugs at 14 until he was 24, he was sober for no more than six months. He dropped out of high school, lived on the streets, and spent time locked up. When I got to sober college, I just came straight from prison. I literally couldn't spell schedule. I couldn't spell aunt or uncle. Um, it was terrible. Today, Andy is one of the 1,000 graduates sober college has treated since Mindy Leppins Pfeiffer and her late husband, Robert Pfeiffer, founded it in 2006. We're not a 30-day program. We're not a quick fix. We understand Robert was really passionate that addiction is a brain disease. And like anything else, it needs time to heal. Established in Woodland Hills, Sober College accepts young adults 18 to 26 years old who are struggling with an addiction but are committed to at least a 90-day 12-step program. But this is your average child that could be mine or yours, you know, just, you know, might have done pot and alcohol and heroin. My name is Maddie and I'm an addict. Smoking marijuana was part of 19-year-old Maddie Gordon's daily routine. She calls it a vicious cycle she could not escape. Now, living at Sober College, which is required, the day we met, she was 55 days clean and continuing her college education. That's thanks to Sober College's partnership with Woodbury University, a private school in Burbank. Accredited professors teach a variety of courses, including creative writing, psychology, and health and wellness. And in six months, clients can earn up to one semester of transferable college credits. You don't have to look very far to see the good Sober College is doing for these students. You see these banners on the wall? They represent schools students have been accepted to. Do you often think about how far you've come? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, Andy, who now works for Sober College and who just celebrated 10 years sobriety, Happy Andy. is poised to receive a degree in psychology from Woodbury University. Uh, you know, my life today is amazing. I never realized that I could have gone as far as I have. Just the thought of it makes me want to cry. And I know it's stories like Andy's that keep Mindy going. We put a toolbox together and we hope that we give you everything you need to start and jump off back to your life that you should have had. It's my husband's motto, we just don't give up. Well, a recent wow. survey of 1,000 Sober College graduates shows 71% reported staying sober. Wow. Yeah, and they're expanding the program. They just opened up a campus as well in San Diego. Oh, good. If that statistic really holds up. Oh, that, my goodness. That's incredible. That's so powerful. That's really high, especially for first-timers. Mm -hmm. She mentioned the toolbox. They are, in, in order to teach these clients how to have fun in sobriety, they offer all sorts of extracurricular activities such as surf therapy, they have an art okay. studio, a music studio, you want to play soccer, they have a soccer team, they have indoor climbing. I mean, they just, they really hone in on physical activity because relapse is caused mainly by stress management, you know, mm. what to do once you get out into the real world. So staying physically fit helps reduce stress. That makes stress. sense. Yeah. yeah. Right, Sobercollege.com for more information. Thank you.